This is a story about when George got stabbed when he was in fifth or sixth grade or so. I was, after school, I, we lived about a mile or more from school to where I lived in Detroit on a Joseph Campo south of Jefferson Avenue. And I walked to school every day and it was over a mile. And uh, kind of had you all, your route home was through all kinds of different neighborhoods. And each neighborhood had their own groups and, and, uh, and you had to kind of talk fast or run fast or just not to be confronted by them. So you learn to move and start to stay out of their ways. And once in a while, you, you could, there'd be a group that you couldn't get past them. And there was a confrontation going around on this one street corner around when I was on my way home from school. A, a lady and some boys and other boys arguing. And as I was walking by, I tried to stay away from them, too close to the group, they didn't want to get involved. And as I was walking away, this one other kid that was in part of the gang, he comes in and sees me and he just, with his knife, switchblade open, just jabbed me in the thigh. And I kept going because I wanted to get the heck out of there. And when I got home, I, I was stabbed, so they took me to the hospital. And they were worried about it. And the way it infected. The knife might have been infected. So I went to the hospital, and whatever probably made a neutralizer to, with painkillers or so forth. And uh, it, it just resolved itself. But it was in a meetup by Babuda Barak's. Uh, and did you stay away from that group of kids in the future? Well, uh, these gangs were... See, I lived down on the west east side, down below Jefferson Avenue, near the river. And I had to walk, like I say, the neighborhood school was up north and I had to walk from school every day. So you went to different neighborhoods. You got a Syrian neighborhood, Italian neighborhood, black neighborhoods. And you have to try to, <laughs> you walk gingerly through all these different groups. Did you walk by yourself or did you walk all with the group? All of and uh, you just learn to talk with them and try to befriend. Oh, so I, as a result, I made a lot of friends in all the neighborhoods because whenever a stranger went through their neighborhood, they want a gang on you. Let them alone, he's a friend of mine, you know. So I made it a point to get friendly with them, with all the neighbors that I had to go through. And you still are friends with everybody today. Well, you had to be. I mean, you developed it for, for, for your life, really. Okay, thank you, George. <laughs>